I'm Sierra Lee, and this is SingingTV.com, and together you and I, we're making singing simple. Today I wanted to address something um, that seems to be pretty much the most popular thing that people like to do today in contemporary music, and that is riffs, blends, and melismas. Um, you saw in episode 53, I got a really great uh, reaction from Matt Cusong, where he came in and we, we did a, a class and I taped it for Singing TV, because that's something that Matt is particularly phenomenal at, uh, riffs run. So, when we talk about a riff or a run, what we mean is staying on, uh, on the same syllable, but on moving fast through different notes, um, all on the same syllable um, and different notes. So, this is very, very popular in contemporary R&B music and in hip-hop and in gospel and in, um, happens a lot in jazz and pretty much in pop and, in, and throughout contemporary music. Um, these days. So singing things like oh, 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 lay, um, and then a hero comes along with the strength to carry on. So you're on or moving through these notes. Hey, 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 oh, 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 which is the exercise that we're about to do. So I know that that's something that uh, people have expressed to me that I have a really hard time doing. Um, most of what you do when you're singing riffs, runs, and melismas has to do with muscle memory. Um, and it has to do with your muscles in your larynx, particularly the actual vocal cord, which is a muscle, and the muscles that uh, lengthen and uh, your vocal folds themselves, because um, that's a different set of muscles. And so those have to remember and work with one another to move uh, really fast and move in a way that is nice and even and getting used to that. It's sort of the same thing like if you picture what a toddler looks like um, when they're moving from crawling into walking, it's um, it's not a really smooth movement until they've learned a lot, right? So um, that's something that you should get used to as you're practicing. You're not going to sound perfect right away, uh, especially if this type of music, if you haven't been listening to gospel, R&B, jazz, uh, pop or singing in that style a lot. Uh, if, if you're like a crossover musician, you're coming from classical music or something like that. And in classical music, we call uh, riffs and runs melismas. It's just a classical term for riffs, runs. Um, what's another? Curls, something that a, a student of mine recently used. He said, oh, I love the way they do that curl. So I came up with a little exercise that helps us do that. And it's um, something that, it's funny, you, it's going to be hard for you to sing along with this. But um, you're gonna have to start out slow and get faster and faster, and it's just oh 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 oh
up to the speed that you want it. But for now, oh, 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 excuse my dog, he's barking in the other room. that I like. If you've got another one, by all means, make it up, sing it, slow it down, take it up the range, take it down the range, and speed it up faster and faster and faster. And if you, and I just realized I don't have a metronome on this, and my metronome is not within reach, but if you've got a metronome, a metronome keeps time for you. So you can sing, and eventually speed that up. Sarah Lee, and this is Singing TV. Together, you and I, we're making singing simple.